to a clue, and we are, of course, live. Dinky do to every single one of you. Lovely to be with you. Quarter past nine on Thursday evening. That is the big one. Feel free to come and join us. So much to talk about and so little time to do it in. We had a little bit of uh, a technical problem there with one of the sites, but it seems to have sorted itself out, and that's what matters. So do feel free to come and join me. You're watching Scotty McClue, and we are, of course, live on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. That's the big one. That's what it's all about. Welcome, welcome, I say. It's going to take a little bit more than a tiny bit of technical trouble to stop my crew coming and seeing all of you. I can tell you that. And what I'll do is binky do. There we are. I'll just send you a quick binky do. I don't know if you saw me pop up, but there we are. Very strange. There we go. Wonderful. Who have we got here? You're live on Scotty's phone. And who's that? Hello, Scotty. It's Kareem. How oh, are you? Kareem, how are you? You're first on again. <laughs> it's wonderful. You, yeah. no, Kareem, no you didn't get a notification about 15 minutes ago, did you? No, I just got the notification just now. Right, right. How very strange. So obviously the stream wasn't actually going out. Right. I was yeah, sitting... Then chatting away, and I thought, what's happening? And then it just mysteriously shut down. Ah, so right. I thought, right, we'll just open it up again. Well, I knew from earlier on you put it, that you would be on at 9 o'clock. Yes. Five past nine, I thought, well, it's no notifications up yet. Um, and then that's me just got it now. So, so there we are. Oh, that's good. Anyway, the important thing is we're here. We are here now for a wee chit-chat. We are here for a chit-chat. How has your day been? Interesting, just with work, I won't go into details, but uh, as you know, within the education, it's always uh, <laughs> challenging every day. Always, it? every day is a school day, as they say, Kareem. Absolutely. Yes. But we've got um, a wee question to think about that, um, and for any callers, potentially. Um, and I dealt with an incident that I was verbally abused by a member of the public. Aha. Uh -huh. And... Um, this was during, obviously, I won't go into details, but it was during class time. I was out with my class during the public. So I did report it to the campus police officer. Good. And the police officer uh, went and cautioned the person. However, the, the person seemingly has a history. So I won't go into details, etc. But my point I wanted to put across is what I see from observation is when you look at people that have an encyclopedia, practically, of things that they've done wrong for mm -hmm. their lives. Yes. They tend to get a slap in the wrist. Yes. However, if it's somebody that's got no record, no nothing, and then something happens, they get the book thrown at them, they get made an example of. And I'm just thinking, <laughs> are we as a society going the wrong way in terms of discipline? discipline well, you see, it's, it's, it's very interesting. As far as I understand it, you can't take previous offences into account when sentencing somebody, right? right? As far as I understand it. But how often do you see reports of cases in the paper where it says the sheriff uh, deferred sentence awaiting background reports? Aha, uh -huh. right. Interesting. You yeah. see? So these now, yeah. we'll not go into all the ins and outs because it's quite a tricky area and it's a, a bit of a legal minefield. But mm -hmm. it's very interesting, that sort of thing. Uh, you know, sauce for the goose, sauce for the gander, I've always thought. Definitely mm -hmm. innocent and fail proved guilty. But when mm -hmm. proved guilty, I think they need to be, you know, not too lenient these days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I, and I think there's a new culture of thinking. Yeah. You see all these half-witted idiots filming police officers and going, no, no, wait a minute, you can't approach me. I'm a member of the public, all that sort of thing. Now, a police yeah. officer should be able to approach any member of the public, ask them for their details, and if they're not forthcoming, say, well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to take further action. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what they're there for, to serve and to help the yeah. public. There was a, a study, I don't know if you've seen it the other day in the paper, regarding the police that over, I think, 52, 53, if I can't remember, would be in favour of carrying a weapon, a gun, uh, the police force in order to feel safe, in order to do their job properly. Now, 
I think uh, from what I read in comments on social media, the uh, majority of the public were against that. But I, I see what goes on. Like I've seen a lot of things what the police have to put up with. And mm-hmm. these people that, I, I would say maybe a ta- is it a taser, you call it, the electrical? The taser. Device. Taser gun. The taser, sorry. And if you get some halfwit who's high on something, they can bring uh-huh. them down fairly swiftly with that. I think the police should be issued with that at least minimum just now because I think that would probably that would do the job as you said it would bring anybody down um, and instead of actually See so your problem is culture. your crim who's got a bit of a crim mind and a bit of a crim track record and they'll blame it on their background I know people that were brought up with virtually nothing they're not criminals you know so I'm, I'm afraid I don't always fall for this but you know what they see at home what they're brought up with blah blah now yeah. uh, you know if you have an understanding in the old days gone by when there were razor gangs on the street you had to have an understanding that you never ever harmed a cop or that was a serious life sentence yes do you know yeah. and obviously if you killed a police officer it was hanging you were hung yeah. for it, you know, that sort of yeah. thing. That would be the end of that. So, uh, and we've seen that there are famous cases about it. Now, I think there has to be some kind of understanding that the police have a job to do to protect the public. And if the crims are carrying weapons, that needs to be very, very heavily punished, very heavily punished. But I think going down the road of arming the police in this country, you see, When I was small, uh, Karim, back in the day, as we say, here we go with my anecdotage. I could just hear the violins striking up. Um, But uh, back in the day, the police had a checked cap, a peak cap, a small baton, I think the thing would be about a foot long, and a whistle. And that was it. And then they got radios. But the police, they happened to be very in physically good shape. They knew how to deck somebody. They knew how to restrain somebody. They knew how to hold somebody. They knew how to take somebody into custody. They walked about in pairs. Yeah, and they were just keeping an eye open for public nuisances. Now you've got all this kind of craziness, racing away in cars, thinking they can run from the police, putting the public in serious danger. Yeah? Yeah. So, yep. so that's of idea, and they will get caught. And I mean, you notice, and and these chase things that you see in the telly, when they do catch them, they say he got three months, you know, and uh-huh. um, and and he he was banned from driving for two years, mm-hmm. you know. And you think, no, get that person off the road forever. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I agree with you totally. It's the same with animal cruelty as well. Yeah, that how many times have someone's had a, a pitiful fine? And you know they're not allowed to own a dog for two, two years. When the, you know there was there was a case of that recently that somebody actually killed their dog through neglect by not feeding the dog. No. So they've got a ban. I think it was five years. A ban for five years. I thought, wow, that is just absolutely shocking. You know? No, you must never keep an animal again because you're not fit to. Absolutely, and I know I know it's jumping topic, but that you've got a lot of people that cannot look after themselves. Never mind bringing an animal, a dog like that, into their house. Kareem, was it you that told me there were thousands of dogs um, now had to be handed in after the COVID? Yes, it was down Ayrshire. Uh, I was at my friend's, and I've never seen this before, Scotty, but I do give money to the Dogs Trust. Yes. I do donate money towards that, and it was like the Dogs Workers, Dogs Trust workers that were going from door to door. Yeah. So went to my pal's house and I was in because I know his dog's quite noisy so I thought they were there to speak to him about his dog but he said no I went and donated £10 I said really? I said you could do that all online I said yeah but I'd rather give the money they were asking for it because within Ayrshire from the start of lockdown they've had about 90,000 dogs obviously people were buying dogs as you know to get out of the house but now lockdown's over they have no time for these lovely animals so they're just getting rid of them and it's heartbreaking oh Right, now listen, so much to talk about tonight. Tonight's the 20th anniversary of 9-11. And I've just posted a video up on TikTok. And, uh, you know, and I'll put it up on YouTube as well about what happened that night uh, to myself. Right. 
yes. you'll get a lot of viewers in terms of TikTok with the American viewers. That that will be very close to heart. So yes, yes. Very interesting. What happened, Kareem? Very briefly. You maybe heard me say it before, but um, I came in from work in the afternoon about four o'clock, and I thought I was watching some disaster movie like Towering Inferno, and I saw planes flying into these towers. And I thought, what is this? I've not seen this before. And then it was a news report live. Well, it wasn't live by that stage. It was coming from America. But it was a news report on a rolling news channel. And I thought, for goodness sake. Anyway, the next thing, the buzz was phone calls back and forward. Uh, each radio station's pulling the phone in tonight. Because a lot of radio stations had phone ins. And they said, they're pulling the phone in tonight. No, no, it's not the night for a phone in. I said, look, this is just exactly what people need to do. They need to talk. We must get, let the people come together on a night like this. So I went on. And it was the most uh, incredible, spectacular, unusual, strange program. When one lady who phoned to say that her son had a meeting at 9 o'clock at the World Trade Center. And he was stuck in his tube uh, wow. down in the in the metro. And yeah. um, he phoned her at lunchtime to say, ah, it's me, I'm okay. Yeah. Oh, she, oh. she would have been so happy. <laughs> Do you know, so I call like that. And then we played the two national anthems at the end, Kareem. You know, yes. and uh, America and, uh, and the UK. And everybody was talking about what an incredible program because we'd let the people speak about it. Yeah. Two things I remember, Scotty, that I remember doing um, was 9-11 and when Princess Diana sadly passed away. Yes. And when it was Princess Diana, I was I was actually in the shower and my brother was banging the door and obviously got the news, so we were in shock. And I remember when it was 9-11, I was walking back, I, back home from college and then obviously the news was hitting and you were, it was just... A, disbelief what was actually happening couldn't believe it at all so that those two events will always stick in my mind what i was doing at that time what we're doing at that time and you're too young to remember we used to say to people where were you when president kennedy was shot <laughs> well i don't think my, my parents wouldn't have been even together at that time as well. <laughs> there you are amazing uh kareem lovely talking to you and a big dinky do Thank you, Scotty, for taking my call. Speak to you later. God bless you, sir. What a fine fellow. There's Kareem. Now, so much to talk about. Let's see your comments, guys. What have we got here? Scotty, you're awfully late, son. Don't do it again. Some of us were panicking. Here's going to be day phone it. Wasn't it actually my fault, believe it or not, Numpty Heat, because uh, we had a technical trouble. We started several times. Did you do, Scotty McClure? says, Kevin Dodds. Check out the video. So there we are. Yes, Suzanne. Uh, Hope you are, Mrs. Well, Tenerife. Very hot tonight. Stay safe. Sir David. Ah, Sir David's in Tenerife. Uh, does anyone else here, apart from me uh, and Scotty, that watches the yobos cheeking up to the police with our mobile phones? I give to the Dogs Trust, too, my favorite charity. They've been there for Dino the Dog in the past. It's not 9-11 today, Scotty. It's Saturday. Uh, Suzanne, what is the date today? There we are. Oh, yes, the 11th. Yes, the 9th. Oh, well, 20th anniversary on Saturday. So we can talk about it then. I see what you mean. I think people probably have got uh, mixed up with the 9th because the date's the other way about. So there we are, 9-11 rather than 11-9. My mother used to get uh, Xmas cards from the Dugs. She used to sponsor, which is here. Yes, indeed. Hello, Scotty Dicky do Hello, Aaron. Hi, Scotty. How are you? Susan Shaw. How lovely to have you with us and a big dinky do. Now, I think we'll bring the TikTokers back in for a bit of a chit chat. What do you think, folks? I think it's only fair. Now, remember, tomorrow night, the second of our big Friday night phone ins. So, there we are. That is what we are talking about today. So, today is the 9th, uh, not the 11th. That's that. I'll pop that in there and then we can uh, go live. Here on TikTok. Fantastic. Uh, because I couldn't do it before because we had a wee technical problem. Uh, wonderful. Hi, Scotty. How are you? We're fine, Susan. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky News is Bobo. Bobo. 
Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue. Hashtag Flutai. And the bigger foot in. Now I'm going to go live with the TikTok as we popped up earlier. But with a wee bit of the old technical trouble. And I thought that's never going to work. Can't do that. So there we are. So we'll just say brilliant welcome, welcome TikTokers. Then we need tougher laws, especially when it comes to emergency service. Personnel being abused. Stephen, the police. The fire brigade, the ambulance crews, the doctors, the nurses, security people, even the parking wardens. There should never, ever, ever be any abuse towards these people. You know, so important. Evening. Evening, Larry Guy. Ah, Scotty, I was waiting for you patiently. How are you, sir? La Hoop. How lovely to have you with us and a big dink you do. La Hoop, we are joining us live on YouTube, Facebook, and, of course, on Twitch. Fantastic. Hi, says Andrew. Dink you do, Andrew. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, I say welcome. There we are. The Scotty McClue YouTube phone in. Call Scotty now, 0141628-9795. How good is that? Now, guys, if you're on TikTok in front of you, you'll see the YouTube URL. If you tap that, you'll see it beside my, just below my bio, where it says bio about Scotty McClure. There's your link to YouTube. Tap that, and you can join us live on the phone in. How good is that? Fantastic. Yes, thank you, Lahoom. I hope all is well with you. He can't answer me. Who can't answer you, Brian? Why is somebody not answering Brian? Dinky-doo, sir. Dinky-doo, Margaret Gibb. So there we are. Who's not answering you, Brian? Do tell us. We're very interested. Fantastic. Come and join us if you've just joined us on TikTok. A very, very warm welcome. You are live with Scotty McClure. There we go. Dinky-doo, sir. Margaret, dinky-doo, madam, I would say to you. Uh, you're going to the Battle of the Pans. There's a bottle of the pans, even to get a bus these days. How's your day been? Looking very handsome today, sir. Thank you very much. Ah, yes, fine people. We are loyal to the crown. Well, everybody's loyal to the crown. That's why we have the crown. Only a half-witted idiot would say no. New poll today, Scotty, 51% yes for independence. Aha, let's hope these polls are spot on. Think you do, Scotty, says Craig. Shout out for the pans. Preston pans. Are you a fan of darts, Scotty? I've only played once. A friend said to me, come and I'll show you how to play. And apparently I thrashed him in my first game. So I was throwing these darts and he was going, oh, wow. I said, is that good? Oh, hey. So there you go. But I don't really know anything about it. What happened to the fetties, says Brian? I hope they didn't eat themselves to death, Brian. With the cream cakes and chips. Have you a new hat? Well, I've had it for a week or two, but it is very spectacular. And I thought I'd pop it on. Hashtag float eye. Scrag, how lovely to have you with us and dinky do on the TikTok. And to everybody on YouTube and Twitch and Facebook, welcome, welcome, welcome with our live pop-up. You can phone in. There we go. Scotty, your banner's not on the screen with your name and call-in number. Well, it should be. I could tell you, Kareem. I find that very strange. You're not watching TikTok, are you? Let me see if I can get it to do that. There we are. What, how's that? Is there something there, Kareem? Tell me. Do tell. Spill the beans. L-M-F-A-O. Cool. Cool, Brian. Absolutely. L-M-F-A-O. Cheerio. Cheerio, El Drox. Love the hats. Historian Shuffel. One of my most loyal followers. There we are. So cool. This is cool, Brian, isn't it? Hope you're well, my friend. You too, Brian. Very important to have you on. What made you think I couldn't answer you? <laughs> there we are. It's up now, yes. Now, Kareem, keep watching and tell me if this goes up, if we've got something else, right? There we are. Is there something else up there now, Kareem? That's what I'm interested in. And... Tell me if that comes up, Kareem. All right, very important. Scotty, what's your opinion on the 2022 exams possibly being cancelled? Well, Elizabeth, 
We'll have to just wait and find out what's happening. Because obviously we've had a lot of this. You know what I mean? Over the piece. And people are getting thoroughly fed up. Tell me if it's up there, Kareem. Uh, number is there, says Mark. Yeah, number's now showing. That's it up now. That's your number. Everything up there, guys. And people could give us a ring. Thank you for that. I think I had to refresh it. We like to have a refreshment. Loved your radio shows in the early 2000s. Bill, what you should do is click on the YouTube URL there. You'll see it just at my bio. Yeah, if you click on that and go on to YouTube, you can subscribe, tap the bell, and watch us live. How amazing is that? Can we get a wee tune in the squeeze box, sir? Margaret, we can, yes. Permission to land, Scotty. Ah, Andrew Downey. Uh, there we are, AD03, AD03. If you head over for runway 01, 01 is clear. And if you want to prepare your final approach, we have you in visual. Thank you. Over. There we are, Scotty. It's gone now on the YouTube feed, says Kareem. Gone on the YouTube feed. It shouldn't have done that. So there we are. We have to see what's going on there. Number went off on your third click. Third click. No good. Right, let's see what's happened here. Let's get back here with the numbers, I say to you. Yeah. Okay, what's up now, guys? Are you getting anything there? That's what I need to know. Tell us what's happening there. Okay, have you got the number up? Uh, how are you doing, Scotty boy? We're dinky do, Stevie boy. Lovely to have you with us, dinky do, to all our beautiful TikTokers, to all our beautiful YouTubers, Twitchers, and Facebookers. I'm trying to find out what's going on here, guys. We're at the chat. It's up now, yes. Numbers now showing, now showing. There we are. I always tuned in to Scotty and Century back in the late 90s. Great radio. That was an outstanding station. But I wish you'd heard Hallam FM and Viking and Radio City in Liverpool and Manchester and uh, Scott FM in Glasgow and Edinburgh and Stirling. The blue one's up now. Uh, back in business, sir. Leave it alone. The number's showing. But is it showing on YouTube? Uh, yes, it's up now. Thank you. Right, we'll leave that up and people can give us a bell. I'm supposed to be doing my GCSE exams in seven months. Do you think it will happen or not, Elizabeth? I couldn't possibly say because I cannot predict because I don't run the exam board and I'm not a leading politician in the Scottish government. TikTok, okay. Fantastic. Yes, indeed. Hi, Sir McClue. Geodog, what a privilege to have you with us. I was reading your comment. I'm not sure if you were with us about the broadsword, the claymore. Dinky do, dinky do, Lenzok. How lovely to have you with us on the TikTok. And Geodog, can you get on to the YouTube and can you get on to the Facebook and the Twitch? That's what we wonder. Yes, it's up now. The number's up now. Is the number up on YouTube? Can somebody tell me? There we are. Get on to the YouTube channel. Come on. Numpty Heed, you're slacking. Hi, Scotty. Do you have any jokes? to cheer up a miserable wonky. Wonky, you need to get yourself onto my TikTok videos today, and there's a lovely wee joke for you. Yes, a fellow Scotsman, says Connor. Absolutely, Connor. We are TikTok's top talk show. Good morning, sir. Good morning, True Blue Floors. A lovely to have you with us. Good morning. There we are. Brian says the fatty speed, double fare in the buses, because they take up two seats quite right, too. What's the topics tonight? I've just tuned in. Ah, Margaret, we've been talking about people who abuse public servants verbally and threaten them. They need to be seriously jailed. There we are. Looking good. Absolutely not to heed you too, sir. There we are. So that's what we are talking about. Um, how's your day been, Scotty? Lenzok has been an incredible day. Incredible. Hello from east of Monbatha, Scotty. John Colts. Jambo, I said to you, Jambo, Kenya. And uh, Jambo, is it Kenya or Kenya? Which do you prefer? Jambo, broadsword calling, Danny boy. Name the film, Kulelo. Name the film. Who can name the film where the code was broadsword calling, Danny boy? Broadsword calling, Danny boy. Broadsword calling, Danny boy. Danny boy, 
Broadsword, this is Danny Boy. Father McCree speaking. Uh, Deep Heart going through Edinburgh tonight, Scotty. Ah, Andrew, a change in temperature, the hot and the cold meeting. Uh, what's it like in the new town then? Is that where it is? It hovers around there. Fantastic. Very, very creepy. Um, La Hoop, dink you do. Hello there, Scotty. Larry Guy, what's insulting you? Do tell us. Um, yes, indeed. Extreme horror and eye mouth all day. Numpty heat, did it not burn off? That's usually what happens to a heart. It burns off. I said, greetings from Glasgow on TikTok. You're back on, Angela. Yes, we are. Wasn't that where eagles dare? Says the wonderful Geodog. Geodog, we cannot throw you at all. It was indeed the wonderful where eagles dare. How amazing is that? This is brilliant. I mean, the phone in back, Scotty. Andrew, tremendous. And feel free to phone anytime. Scotty, I think there's two that need to go down the Swanee. We'll keep an eye for them. There's the wonderful Maria Knight. Always being so generous, Maria. Thank you. You're an angel. Maria sent me silver boxing gloves. So I ever do better behave. Yeah, there you go. Fantastic. Now then, thank you for joining us, guys. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'd appreciate it. Yes, I think it's been a very good idea, Andrew, to have the phone in back. Anything interesting planned for the weekend? Well, Friday night, we're live on here on the phone in, on Twitch, on YouTube, and on Facebook. So can I suggest, Maria Knight, what are you doing? Guys, Maria Knight is live on TikTok. Maria is perhaps the most generous woman in the world. She has spoiled Scotty McClue with gifts since I started live streaming. The TikToks, Maria must have sent a fortune. She's just sent me a diamond king worth a fortune. Maria, thank you, Angel. You're such a princess. A diamond king. Zimbabwe, seems grim, Mike. Zimbabwe, yes, we've got you. You don't need to spam us. So and on the Saturday night, Craig Cochran, I'll be live here for you on the phone in YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and we'll bring in the TikTokers. That's about 12 pounds, says John Gulls. Maria has spent a fortune on Scotty McClue. Spoiled me. Absolutely spoiled me. She's so good. Sorry, says Grim. Not at all, Grim. No, no, no. I was just explaining that we had seen you. We didn't need to spam. Woo! Quick comfort break, a mop down. There we are. So very, very busy, I say. Uh, my name just caught me. There we are, stealing our cheddar. Now she won't talk to me. Oh, CJ. Are you a football hooligan? No, Matt. I'm not even a football fan. So you mustn't judge everybody by yourself, Matt. There we are, fantastic stuff. Now, oops, cameraman slipped there. That can happen. Name a football for an edit. No, we don't do that anymore. We used to do it, but it became a bit trolly. You know, as if people were just trolling. And uh, that sort of idea. They say the same things. Saw you crying in the supermarket. Uh, foot review. Um, hi, do you support uh, BLM? Do you support LGBTQ? I saw you crying in another supermarket. Um, you're my da, all that sort of stuff. And these are just wee trolls who can't handle a live stream. They don't know how to do it. Nice to see you, dinky-doo. Are you a transgender? Um, I don't think so, but I will check, you know. Absolutely not a problem. Y'all uh, read 10, I will all read. I don't do it. No, you don't, Dara. Uh, I've not been watching you in ages, Scotty. I just need to send you a gift, Maria. You're just so beautifully kind. And as you know, that all goes to a very, very good cause. That's why we've got such fantastic equipment. Well spoken, Sir Scotty. Doing the swaddy with a soccer hooligan. There we are. Yes, absolutely. I mean, if he's asking about hooliganism and soccer, you can almost bet your bottom dollar, or your rand, your bottom rand geodog, that the guy's a football hooligan. And he's looking for people to pal him up so he doesn't feel so bad when he sobers up. Haven't you been somewhere? Haven't seen you in ages. Well, we're live on YouTube right now. 
And if you look at my bio, if you're on TikTok, just below it, you'll see the link to the YouTube channel. Come and join us. Subscribe and tap the bell. Uh, I'm not transgender, but I am a lesbian. Dear dog, yes, I think we. I have lesbian tendencies. There's no doubt about it. I uh, thought you might be going to transmit the festival at the weekend with the youths. Says Craig. Yes, indeed. Evening, Mr. McLeus and the wonderful Jerry. Looking forward to being back round the dining room table on a Friday and a Saturday night. Oh, it's going to be big stuff, Andrew. I can tell you. Have you told Pop? There we are. Can you shout out to my pal Joe for his birthday? Yes, I can. Absolutely. I have to self-isolate on my birthday next week. Katie, this is what happens, but we must go along with the science. So there we are. That's what it's all about, I see. Now, I can't believe I've been up for half an hour. Just amazing. Hello, Scotty from Danoon. Not been for a while. Mum's passed away three weeks ago. Very sorry to hear that. Yes, and your mum was in Danoon, Sean. A fine part of the world. There we are. Evening, Scotty, your friend Long John here. Can we get a huge shout out to my good friend Joey G? Mr. Dinky Do himself. Unreal, sir. John Colts, lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do. Fantastic. We've got such a superb turnout here, guys. This is just amazing. And what uh, a brilliant phone in. Another couple of good calls. So we've got 9 11, the anniversary coming up uh, on uh, Saturday. Yes, because the date's the wrong way around, I think people are getting confused. And uh, they were telling me, of course, you know, it's the 20th anniversary. So I've done a TikTok for you, but it'll keep. Good evening, lovely man. Thank you so much. Very, very kind of you. Grim Mike has sent me a beautiful present. I thank you, Grim Mike. He sent me a packet of tea. Well, I'm just having a cup of tea now, Grim Mike. So that'll go down very well. Mm. Ah, there we have it. Now then, who have we got here? Dinky do, thank you. Thank you for all your likes, Maria, and for your beautiful, beautiful Diamond King. Oh, in Scotland, there's beer. Some people said there isn't enough in England. Oh, there we are. Yes. Oh, no, we'd, we'd be trouble if there wasn't beer in Scotland, I think. Guys, can you all get tap, 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 tap? I'm needing 10,000 likes on the TikTok. Thank you very much. We're sitting at 1,100. We can do a lot better than that. I did a pop-up for just a few minutes one day, and we got 10,000 likes. Everybody needs to start tapping their screens. Big style. Come on, TikTokers, follow me, and then start tapping your screens. This is for the big people on here. Everybody, tap, 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 tap. What did you used to drink, Scotty Boy? La Hoop, I did drink beer when I was quite young. And then when I went to Yorkshire, where they have some of the best beer in the world, I changed to cider. And uh, I loved my cider. And then about, I suppose about six, seven years ago, I just chucked the whole lot all together so I could drive any time of the day or night. Thank you, do, everybody. Tap, 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 tap. Come on, TikTokers, you are slacking. Has everybody followed me? That's the one we want. Scotty, I think I'm starting a GoFundMe so I can buy the odd sandwich. Professor Numpty, did you give away all your money to Scotty McClue to start the phone in? There you are. Wonderful. That's what it's all about. I could pop your comment up on the screen, but we don't want the number to disappear again. That's the stuff. Now, who have we got? Ryan, don't know what you're talking about. Can you tie a bow tie? I can, Ali, and have done on many an occasion. You see, we wear a bow tie with the kilt. Fantastic. Get tapping. Come on, let's see. We get these numbers. They should be up in the 50s and 60s, not in the 30s. There we go. Get these numbers up. Cool, Scotty. I'm a cider man myself. Any particular one you drank but all the time? Well, I won't do any adverts, but we're probably on the same one. There we go. It's strong, and you could tie it round your tie. Uh, just sent 382 likes to Sean. Sean, thank you very much. You're a top man. There we are. That is tremendous. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClure. We're live on YouTube, 
Facebook and Twitch. I want you to go and follow every single one of them. Subscribe to the YouTube. We need to get the subscribers up big time. And we're also live on TikTok. And the TikTokers are tapping their screen. And we're getting the likes up to 5,800. Woo! Scotty, you're a top man. Tom Taylor, dinky do. Scotty, you're the king. Uh, Craig says, did you see the documentary on ITV about 9-11? No, uh, I didn't see it because I'd be setting up the stream for tonight. Did you see my TikTok about 9-11? I'll upload it to YouTube. 20 years. Excellent program. Thank you, Jerry. Very, very kind of you. Oh, he's talking to somebody else. Sorry. There we go. Uh, thank you. 45 beautiful TikToks from Grim Mike. Grim Mike, you're an absolute gem. That's really kind of you. And we're up to 6,600 likes. Can every single TikToker tap their screen as if it was going out of fashion? There we are. I'm tapping my head off, says Chambo. Chambo, Jambo, Chambo, I say to you. Get tap, tap, tapping. I want to see how high we can get these figures. And apparently if everybody taps at the one time, they go shooting up. And they should be up in the hundreds by now. There we are. It's it's so strange. You know, it's very difficult. We got to, I think, 17,000 followers, and we need about another 3,500. So that's the next thing. I've started brewing my own cider, Sir Stephen. I brewed stout last week. It tasted like a week. Known, a well-known Irish brand. That's the stuff. Didn't you do? Now, there we have it. Thank you very much. Who else have we got here? Do send us your messages. You can go live in chat. Thank you again to Maria for our beautiful gift on TikTok of a diamond king. Oh, Maria, I do worry, though. I don't want you running out of pennies at my expense if you get the, if you get the pun. Ah. No, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, hi, Scotty. Is that you, Numpty Heat? I need to turn the telly. Turn the telly, Din Numpty Heat. Grim Mike says, bye, Scotty. See you another time. Thank you, Grim Mike. You're an absolute gem. There we are. Scotty. Yes. So I've just turned the telly, Din. Good boy. That is fantastic. What a difference. That nonsense coming out of here. That man's on his phone and... <laughs> Everybody okay. is loving it. Now listen, Scotty, I've uh, got tons of things to phone in about. Go on, Ken. And I can't remember a single one. Oh my goodness me. Do you want oh, to ring me back? But here, 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 here. We're here. We're all, pa we were all panicking, Scotty. What were you panicking about? Oh no, you never got it at nine o'clock. Uh, I mean, 9 o'clock, 15 minutes after ah, 9 o'clock. Right. What I mean. Well, I oh, was yes. up here just at the back of 9, but we had a technical problem. Well, here, how do we know, Ken, about that then? Well, I can't we tell you because I can't get on. We should have got notifications in Scottie's. Well, you don't. I, I don't think they problem. send notifications to say that their stream's not working. Yeah. No, listen, you get your people to talk to my people and we can sort this out. That's what we'll do, I think. I'll tell you. Absolutely. I would right. think your your bankers oh, know speaking right. to you. Where's Jim Where's McClue? Uh, your bankers know speaking to you for putting all that money in McClue's account. I'll tell you, I've not a cigarette for three weeks. That is fabulous news. That's the best news I've had all day. No, you're not having but any I fags. Fag. These days are over. For you, see, for you, see, fags are over. For you, see, for you, see, fag is over. We're, well, we're talking quality stuff tonight. We had Kareem on earlier, and he was oh, just, oh, he was, you. yep. And I'm he, fed, yeah. Fed up with cream listen, listen. Would you just shut up and listen? Oh, don't you be cheeky to me. Well, don't you I be cheeky. 
Don't you be cheeky to me. And I can't what well, your boss's name You was asked you me a question and I was giving you an answer. What? You asked me a question and I was giving you an answer. And what was the question, Scott? You said, what are you talking about tonight? And I started to tell you and then you started cheeking up. I don't cheek up to you, McLeod. You're my mentor. I got my education for you, Scott. You did, boy, I'll tell you. Do you know, I met somebody that came in. You shook my hand twice in the video of uh, signing, you know. One of the advertisers came into the radio station one day and he says to me, he says, we learned more off you than we did at the school. I'll tell you. Listen, Scott, you, you can't reason that guy at the school because the teachers mistook me for somebody else. They uh, thought I was the troublemaker. They thought you I were, and it was the you had done up to All you were doing was having a kip. No, Scott, I was only uh, smoking a fag round the bar. Smoking a fag round the bike sheds. And they thought I was, you know, the crook. Scotty, my man, has been too long since Graham. Scotty is a legend since Cody K. How fantastic is that? Can you believe? Let's, we're very busy, Numpty Head, but I'll tell you, they've always got a wee bit time for you. Phone me back, but dinner, dinner talk, Sheikh. I'll phone you in the morning. Phone me in the morning, yes. We'll not be on. Dink you do? Got to talk about I can't mind what you were talking about tonight. There he goes. Right, that's fantastic. There's the wonderful Jeff Webster. Great. Love it, Jeff. Bless you. Thank you. All right, Scotty, big man. Hope you're well, says Rap. You should get a documentary in the ITV player. Tell Johnson to set it up for you. Craig, I will. When Johnson comes back, once the COVID clears, we have to send Johnson away. He had to go and isolate at his own place. There we are, fantastic. Now, who have we got here? My man. Who's that in the phone? It's a Scottish TikToker. That's one of my callers, Scottish TikToker. Phoning into the phone in. Come and join us on the phone in. It'd be lovely to have you with us. And thank you do, I say to every one of you. This keeps moving and swiveling about. It's no good. Fantastic. Right. Uh, hi, says Caron. Hi, Caron. Lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do, I say. Tremendous. Kids smoking vapes in classrooms, says Suzanne. No, well, that should be heavily punished. I can tell you, Suzanne. Pro numpty heed some man. I think he's on a swally. I think he is, Jerry. I think he's on the swally. Fantastic. It must be 30 years since Lockerbie. Uh, yes, it will be. When was Lockerbie? Was it 89? Yes, so it's well over 30 years. Well over 30 years. Yes, indeed. Incredible. There we are. Now, uh, tap the TikTok. Yes, if you're watching on TikTok, everybody get tap, 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 tap. Tremendous. On the phone in here, uh, if you're watching us live on YouTube, please do subscribe. If you're watching us on Twitch, add to the followers. We had 55 followers when we came on. Last week, I think we had two. So that's excellent. So let's get that right up through the roof. And everybody should be watching on Twitch. Scotty underscore McClue. Get on and get watching. And a YouTube, tap the bell, subscribe, Facebook, share it. So there we are. Very important. Guys, share anything with Scotty McClure on it because we need to get the word out there. And tomorrow is the second of our big Friday night phone-ins. I can't get this to stay. Can't I get it to sit at all, son? There we are. Let me see if I can pull a wee, a wee old-fashioned broadcasting trick here. Might just manage it. Who knows? There we are. Fantastic. Right, you're watching Scotty McClure. Uh, gosh, we've been up for 45 minutes. The Scottish people, we don't want the English on here. No, Brian, Brian, we never, ever, ever say anything anti-English, ever. The English are beautiful people who live in a beautiful country. Yeah? So Scotland has no quarrel with the English people. Scotland only wants to run its own affairs and be totally free of Westminster, bring in its own money and spend it all in Scotland. That's all. 
but we never ever ever say anything or even think anything anti our beautiful english brothers and sisters cousins and aunts hello via my name's michael how are you today says michael dinky do there we are thank you very much must william for my beautiful TikTok presence you're all fingers and thumbs tonight scotty yes well not too bad john boy it's just things won't always sit where you tell them to sit you know the only thing that used to sit where you told it was the dog <laughs> but he never stayed for long he was one of these wee dogs that was so clever he would predict i think those vapes should be banned for everyone more young team are using them getting a buzz you shouldn't be getting a buzz from anything you want the biggest high in the world you have nothing fantastic that's what it's all about and you'll get the biggest high in the world if you have nothing that's what i say yes that's what you say scott here i wonder if i can do that i'm trying to get you somewhere where it'll just sit now i think it's going to do that there we are fantastic right nine o'clock i say so ten o'clock is it yes ten o'clock everybody's going for the nine o'clock bus at ten o'clock because mccluse told them they have no sense of humor says brian yes they have a huge sense of humor brian scotty mcclue was massively successful in england in london in the midlands manchester sheffield preston hull blackpool leeds liverpool carlisle newcastle just massive mcclure dinky do dinky do irish free state good to see you back again what rubbish are you talking though there we are irish free state we might have to dump you in a minute the royal marines are the best i was just telling that to irish free state the marines up the marines i say i walked in england a few years ago i was treated like a dog because of scottish war brian you must have had the wrong attitude. I hope when you say treated like a dog, you're talking about being treated like one of Scotty McClue's Labradors and absolutely spoiled rotten. So there we are. Ryan, we don't go into any of that stuff. That's mainstream argy bargy stuff. You know what I mean? Everyone's talking about that. This is Scotty McClue, Ryan. We've got far more interesting things to talk about. Like, how are you? You know, that sort of stuff. So there you are. I'll say no more, says Brian. That's the stuff, Brian. Say no more. Always stop while you're behind. Uh, there we are. Brian needs to grow up, says Kulelo. Yes, he does. A lot of people need to grow up on here, Kulelo. Mm. Oh, warming. I still don't know what I'm going to do when I grow up. I'll tell you that. Lol. There we are. Scotty, you big hunk. Been on the radio phone in a couple of times. Love you, dinky do. Thank you so much, Barbara. So very, very kind of you. What is a swanee, says so Spider-Me? The swanee is a river. Have you never heard the old song, Way Down Upon the Swanee River? Far, far away. There we are. And uh, the Queen is finished. So there we are, says Irish State. Irish State, what rubbish you talk. No matter who is in charge of the royal family at the time, the crown will always endure. Yes. And the queen will never, ever, ever be finished. So there you go. And remember, you've had your freedom now for 99 years. So you've got nothing, nothing to moan about. Okay, cookie. There you are. Uh, the royals are outdated. No, they're certainly not. How could they possibly be? They are the curators and custodians of the crown. How could you ever be outdated? Scotland had its monarchy for 2,347 years. How's that outdated? Are you looking forward to seeing at the weekend? The weekend, I'm looking forward to seeing all of you on the phone in tomorrow night and Saturday night at 10 o'clock sharp. Very, very important. It's like the Pope. They'll never, ever die. It's a position, not a person. Correct, it's an office, Kulelo. And whatever you think of the incumbent, and nobody can think of anything but good of Queen Elizabeth, then uh, you always respect the actual office. Very important. You know, I respect Her Majesty the Queen. I respect His Holiness the Pope. 
I even respect, um, I very much respect Kulelio, of course, and I even respect, who was that dafty there? Irish Free State. There you are, fantastic. The Royalists think there's something because they are something. They're the curators and custodians of the crown. Isn't that beautiful? Let's hope we get in the EU, says Brian. I hope so, Brian. We should never, ever, ever have come out of the EU. That was a massive mistake. The Brexiteers have betrayed and broken Britain. That's what I say. They've betrayed their country. Scotty, uh, do you know Glenn Boyg? Any interesting stories to share? Oh, Gary, I could share a few stories about Glenn Boyg. I can tell you. For starters, thank you, do, la. Thank you, do, Aiden. Lovely to have you with us on the TikTok. That's what it's all about. They're nothing but half wits. You're quite right, Irish Free State. Any, any anti royalists are nothing but half wits. Nothing but half wits. There we are. I mean, there's absolutely nothing. You can criticize Her Majesty for. Now, Irish Tuesday says uh, there'll be another sovereign. Yes, of course. Deal with it, Stephen. Right away. We have a saying, the king is dead. Long live the king. You're never, ever, ever without a monarch, and nor would anybody want to be. And America would absolutely give the right eye to have the British monarchy. Tremendous. They loved it. Uh, Jerry, Scotty wouldn't let Numpty Hood do the phone in, sort out the dafties. How can Scotland have a monarch for 2,300 years with the world only being 20, 21 years old? No, it's not, Ryan. It's a lot older than that. The world is billions of years old, Ryan. 20, 21 years old. No, no. That's since Jesus came. But uh, the Scottish monarchy even predates Jesus. Yes, it goes back to the ancestors of Re, R-I, Re, the ancient Celtic kings. Have you got it? Re. And that's why you get, when Queen Elizabeth signs something, she signs Elizabeth R, Elizabeth Regina, Latin, Regina, right? Absolutely, the Latin for queen. If uh, the king was signing something, when our father would sign something, he would sign it George R and George R. I. Yes, latterly George R. Rex, Latin, the king. Le roi in French. The roi. Le roi. There we are. Le roi de Soleil, the sun king, Louis the Fourteenth, Versailles. I love your posh Scottish accent. John's mum, you're very kind. 2021 AD. Yes. Well done, Professor Numptyhead. There we go. These single mothers, I'll tell you. Oh, numpty, don't start. Brexit is a disaster, but it's pushed Irish unity 20 years forward. I think it's broken up the United Kingdom. I think it's pushed Scottish unity forward by a year or two. If Scotland get independent, should we bring back our monarchy? Well, we've already got our monarchy because Queen Elizabeth axiomatically since 1603 is the Queen of Scotland, the Queen of Scots. Scotty, if Donald Dewar was king of Scotland, he'd have been called Donald Dewar Rex on the coins. Well, Stevie, that's absolutely right, but he was the first minister. He was an elected representative. Her Majesty follows the divine bloodlines. Yes, a gift from God, I say. Now, who have we got here? Oh, my goodness, would you look at the time? What a fabulous program tonight when we got on the tremendous stuff. And we started late. So we'll finish late. We started, so we'll finish, I say. Oh, that's lush. It's so lush. Donald Dewar, I was actually watching a, a video of the state opening of parliament uh, by Her Majesty the Queen, the speech to the Queen, and Donald Dewar replying. Quite wonderful. And, of course, the, the fabulous David Steele, our first presiding officer. Quality. Now, who have we got? John's mum says, sometimes you become a single mum through no fault of your own. Take it from one who knows. Well, no, John's mum, I mean, you you, you're, you, you all be, you became a mum through a fault, not a fault of your own, but through your own doing. There we are. Hello, Scotty Dinky Dear. I mean, you've got to remember a lot of single mums become single mums because they just can't keep their horn in their hate me. There is that. 
Scotty McClure, my best mate, dinky do Squire Rooney, Squire Rooney, dinky do uh, We're not going to talk into that, so there we are. Collect, my blood bleeds green, I'll bow to no queen. No, no, you bow to the queen anyway, Collect, because everybody does. It's just good manners. And no matter what color your blood is, you will have a huge respect for the queen. You just simply don't know what you're talking about. But everybody throughout the Commonwealth bows to the queen. There we are. And if you find your founder of, um, of Sinn Féin, was it Arthur Griffiths? And uh, Arthur was a, a massive monarchist. So Sinn Féin was a huge pro-monarchy party. There you are, see? There's all your proper history for you. Okay, Colette. I must say, uh, Lizzie's looking awfully bra. Now, I don't have any respect. Well, Colette, you need to learn to have respect. From tonight onwards, that's all changed. And Colette now has huge respect. Yes, indeed. I mean, I have respect for you. I have respect for His Holiness the Pope. There we are. As Ian Paisley told Martin McGuinness, we don't need Englishmen to rule us. Uh, yes, indeed, but you see, it's not a question of rule. It's a question of would you like to foot the bill yourself? Think about that, you know. Uh, Martin McGuinness bowed to the Queen. Of course he did. He knew his respect. You know, absolutely. Everybody bows to the Queen. There were Scotty block out these Irish independent idiots, Egypts. Rule Britannia, a good Scottish song, that Rule Britannia. So there we are. Well, we don't want to block our Irish not out just because they have a different opinion. They're never going to learn if we just block them. So there, good evening, Scotty, all the way from Airdrie. Nikki, lovely to have you with us and welcome. I thought we'd evolve past the divine right of kings and queens. I'm sorry, Gallus. Why would you evolve? The crown will always be your symbol of authority. And the kings and queens will always be representative in perpetuity of the original divine rights. We changed it. The divine right actually changed in 1688 when we ended absolute monarchy and started constitutional monarchy and brought in your friend William of Orange. There we are. Uh, so there we go. Do one Brit up the glorious. Uh, can I tell you something, Irish State, just so that you know? The IRA died the day Lord Mountbatten was murdered. The day Lord Mountbatten was murdered, the IRA died from the inside out. Split the movement right down the middle. Biggest mistake they'd ever made. Have got the DVD to wear eagles, dear. Watch it, Angela. It's fabulous. So there we go. Fantastic. Colette and Irish State are still stuck in the past. You guys need to move forward, folks. So there we go. And he says, says the British Army died the day the Black and Tans were sent to Ireland. No, not at all. The British Army was sent in to protect the Catholics. Yes, indeed. Not the Black and Tans. I do agree with you. I disapprove of the Black and Tans. That was a mistake. So there we are. Like your hat. Yes, indeed. It's one of my favorites. I'm going to have to dash soon, guys. We'll move forward when Ireland's free. Ireland is free, Colette. Free as a bot has been for 99 years. News flash. All right. Scotty, give us a wee song, Rule Britannia. There we are. I might manage it on the squeeze box. I think we're going to run out of time, though, guys. I find an interesting fact, Free Highland Cathedral Survive. Are you going to tell me it was written by a German? The start of the glorious revolution of King Billy is as Ryan, yes. And King Billy Ryan, as you probably know, was a very, very despicable character, a very bad man. So he shouldn't actually be celebrated. I would say that's bad. It's a bonnet. It is a bonnet. Dinky do, I say to every one of you. Guys, we're going to have to say goodbye to you on the phone in. Thank you for joining us tonight. It's been a blast. Fantastic. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Subscribe to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on TikTok at Scotty McClue. Twitch is Scotty underscore McClue. Good night. God bless. Dinky do. And ta-ra-las. Dinky do.